The human circulatory system, also known as the cardiovascular system, is responsible for transporting oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and other essential substances throughout the body. It consists of the heart, blood vessels, and blood. Heart, the heart is a muscular organ located in the chest cavity slightly to the left. It acts as a pump that propels blood throughout the body. The heart has four chambers, two atria, left and right, and two ventricles, left and right. The left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps it to the rest of the body, while the right side receives deoxygenated blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs for oxygenation. Blood vessels. Blood vessels are the tubes that carry blood to and from different parts of the body. There are three main types of blood vessels. A. Arteries. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to the tissues and organs. They have thick, elastic walls that help maintain blood pressure. B. Veins. Veins carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart from the tissues and organs. Unlike arteries, veins have thinner walls and contain valves that prevent blood from flowing backward. C. Capillaries. Capillaries are tiny, thin walled blood vessels that connect arteries and veins. They are the site of nutrient and gas exchange between the blood and the surrounding tissues. Blood. Blood is a specialized fluid that circulates throughout the body. It is composed of various components. A. Red blood cells, RBCs, red blood cells contain a protein called hemoglobin, which binds to oxygen and transports it to the body's tissues. They give blood its red color. B. White blood cells, WBCs, white blood cells are part of the body's immune system. They help fight infection and defend against foreign substances. C. Platelets. Platelets are cell fragments that help in blood clotting. They form clots to seal wounds and prevent excessive bleeding. D. Plasma. Plasma is a yellowish fluid that makes up the majority of blood volume. It carries nutrients, hormones, waste products, and other substances throughout the body. The circulatory system works by the heart pumping blood, which is rich in oxygen, to the body's tissues through arteries. In the tissues, oxygen and nutrients are exchanged for waste products through the capillaries. The oxygenated blood then returns to the heart through veins, and the cycle continues. This continuous circulation ensures the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to all cells and the removal of waste products from the body.